Hi, Aaron. This is your mom. Hi, Aaron. This is your dad. And we, we love, love you. you. And we want to sing a couple of songs for you to help you get better so you can come home and be with us soon. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, I wonder what you are. Up above the clouds so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. The birth of Aaron was very complex. He was uh, two pounds, 11 ounces. He was born at 29 weeks. He was so sick. He had an infection, and they had done everything they could to try to keep him alive. He had several strokes at that time and had all kinds of lung problems, heart problems. Aaron was born in the ICU and uh, began his journey of his will to live, and we lived it day by day. At that time, I didn't know he would have autism or any developmental delay of any sort. I just wanted him to get big enough and strong enough to come home. Once Aaron came home from the hospital after 17 months, we were, of course, ecstatic, but also realistic. We had a huge oxygen tank in our house. He was being tube fed and was tube fed for the next seven or eight years. Aaron was, we discovered he was very sound sensitive. They say, kind of likened it to if you turn your TV up to full volume and sit there for 30 minutes or an hour with it like that and don't protect yourself anyway, you're going to be, you know, highly agitated by the end of that time. When Brittany was born, she cried. That was a problem for him because he was sound sensitive and so he tried, he'd hit her to make her stop. I discovered fame because I was a principal at Roosevelt High School at the time. And I had a student who was a fame student. And she invited me to come to one of her plays. And it was at the time when fame was doing uh, Les Mis. And so they were looking for a Jean Valjean. I remember after they made the announcement, I said, Aaron, you, you have the leading role in this show. You know, that was his first show. And him singing, um, was absolutely incredible, even, even to us. I'm Aaron Hobson and I'm a famed student. I take dance, um, theater arts, choir, um, combo, and um, mind-blowing sound. I like doing a, a musical every year. I like um, being in Willy Wonka and being a great Grandpa Joe. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, life is fun. Life is flat out amazing. My life is incredible. I love being on this planet Earth with the fame adults. Fame has been so wonderful for Aaron in so many areas of his life. Not just in musical training, but socially. He has friends that invite him to bowling parties. He, he's not isolated. And my only hope for fame is that someday they will have their own home where they will have their own studios and their own pianos and their own classrooms and their own performance space. Aaron loves fame. He has, through his experiences at fame, he has friends. To me, that's the most exciting thing is that Aaron has a community of friends and, and he gets to do what he does best and that's sing.